Hi friends, in this video, I will show you how to play a local video file in your Android app. So let's get started. Open Android Studio. Click Start a new Android Studio project. Click Next. Write the project name. Give the package name. For me, it's com.sandipatacharya.videoviewdemo. I'm going to save on my desktop. For language, select Java. And for minimum SDK, select API 16 or Android Jelly Bean. Click Finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your empty project. Now go to activity underscore main dot xml and I'm going to change this layout to relative layout. I'm going to delete this text view and just delete this line. Go to design and drag and drop a text view into this relative layout. Go to code. For the text, I will write Video View Demo. For text size, I will give 32 SP. SP stands for Scale Independent Pixels. For text color, I will use at Android colon color for a slash hollow underscore blue underscore dark and I want this text view to be center aligned horizontally so I'll write android colon layout underscore center horizontal true check the design ok and I will give a padding of 16 dp dp stands for density independent pixels now go to design widgets and drag and drop a video view into this relative layout go to code for width match parent for height wrap content and i want this video view to be below the text view so i'll write Android colon layout below at id for a slash text view. Check the design. Ok. Now go to main activity dot java. Here we need to instantiate the video view object. So write video view video view equals to find by id r dot id dot video view. Now the video that we are going to play inside this app is this. I'll just copy this video file and go to Android Studio RES. I'll create a new directory and name it raw and I will paste the video file inside this raw folder. Next, I will set the video path with the video view object. So write video view dot set video path within double quotes write android dot resource colon double forward slash then call get package name which will return the package name then concatenate that with forward slash then r dot raw dot sandeep 
that is the video file name. Next, we need a media controller object to be able to see the controllers like play, pause buttons. So write media controller media controller equals to new media controller and pass this for context then write media controller dot set anchor view and pass the video view object next we need to set the media controller with the video view object so write video view dot set media controller media controller okay let's run the app to see the output as you can see the video is playing and we can also pause the video but we have a problem over here the controllers are showing at the bottom of the screen but we want the controllers to be seen inside the video so let's do that go to activity underscore main dot xml go to code and i will use a frame layout for this purpose for layout underscore width match parent and for layout underscore height wrap content just cut this closing frame layout tag and paste here and i'll just cut this line and paste inside here press ctrl alt l to format the code let's run the app one more time perfect controller is showing inside the video we can pause the video we can rewind the video and we can also go to the end of the video if you find this tutorial useful please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.